Welcome to Stepping Out Blessed with Opal Dalton and Friends. We're so happy to come back out today and share with you the Word of God, the goodness of the Lord, and uh, talk to you about Stepping Out Blessed and also this week to have with us a uh, guest from the Portland, Tennessee and greater uh, Nashville area. Uh, we have on the set today Sister Deborah Baird, who is the founder and president of Vessels of Honor Worldwide. And we also have Linda Smotherman. She is, uh, has a ministry also, and we're going to have her talk about uh, Miss Harvest Time ministry. Uh, we'll let her give the exact name here. Harvest Time Ministries World Outreach. And um, she's a man. I'm going to read a little bit about some of her information, the things that she does and share with you. Let her share today the, on the day of praise. And we are in a series called A Joint Venture with God. We're handmaidens of the Lord. Uh, we are in a joint venture. We're in business on kingdom business yes. with the Lord God Almighty. And He's actually the one that's leading, guiding, and directing us in the mm. ministries that He's given us and assigned to us to do. So today we're going to be uh, discussing, uh, let Sister Linda share, and we'll be discussing with her about the Day of Praise. And I want to uh, tell you that she is a board member of Vessels of Honor, and she celebrated 53 years of marriage this month that we're recording in. Awesome. She's <laughs> licensed and ordained. I want to go back to that because, great, <laughs> Sister Linda, you, uh, I have been married 54 years and will be married 55 years it's in December. Yeah, it's a big it, accomplishment. It is, it is. That's great. And that's an assignment. Yes, it, it is. It is also an assignment, yeah. uh, I feel. Uh, my husband and I were to be together, and that's an assignment. Praise yes. the Lord for it. She's licensed and ordained, co-founder of Harvest Time Ministries World Outreach, a minister at the House uh, White House Hope H Center for Women Going Through Rehabilitations. She has taught and preached at many churches and retreats and done prison and jail ministry. Mm -hmm. Linda's also taught in Bible schools the message of the gospel that Jesus saves, yes. Jesus heals, and Jesus sets the captives free. Yes. So Amen. today we yes. just welcome you, Sister yes. Linda. Thank you, Miss Opal. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's just an honor to sit at a table with these two precious women of God. And uh, I'm, I'm blessed. Honored. I'm blessed to have them on both sides of me. They're surrounding me. But um, the Lord gave me a day of praise, and I want to just give a testimony about oh, this. Oh, okay, great. Um, and I probably won't even need my, you know, when you give a testimony, it just comes out of your yes, heart. Yes, it does. And you don't have to worry about all your notes and Amen. everything. You <laughs> That's know. right. So a, a little over a month ago, I had a heaviness in my heart about um, what's going on around us yes. and the world in general, our nation. And then working uh, at the Hope Center Ministries for Women, every week you have new ladies coming in that's uh, been battered, um, drugs, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. just a lot of things going on in their life. So you, you see that firsthand. And you see what the Word of God will do when it's presented in simplicity. Yes, yes. It begins to build hope in them. Yes. And they've been pushed down. And sad to say, so many of them, uh, family has done that. Husbands has done it. And, mm -hmm. uh, but we give them hope. Because Praise God. hope is the anchor to our soul. Yes. And your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Yes. And once those get out of balance, you're a basket case. That's right. You can be That's a basket so case. Yes. But the Word of God will give you hope. That's right. And I began to just have this heaviness on the inside of me. And, and I said, you know, I kept having this, this, this phrase kept coming to me. And it was, what if just one day, mm. one day, all the Christians all over the United States would just begin to praise the mm. Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Lord. Yes. Just praise mm. the Lord. One day. No murmuring. Yes. No, no complaining. Compl yes. No fussing at the TV. Amen. You know, or the just, traffic. <laughs> or the traffic or wherever we're at. And all we did was give praise and thanksgiving. Yes. 
to the King of Kings yes. and the Amen. Lord of Amen. Lords, what would happen? So I kept getting this in my spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just kept coming up and kept coming up. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to just throw it out there. Yes. And I'm going to get some response. So, you know, you don't have to tell a woman all you got to do is tell <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> and right. Put That's something true. on Facebook and automatically you're going to get response. Yes. And it just comes to me, that's why we need to guard what we put on Facebook. Yes, we do. That's good advice. <laughs> yes, good it, counsel. because, you know, that's influence. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And so we want to influence people the right way. Yes, we do. So I got started getting feedback. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. I'm in with you, sister. And I, this was just coming from lots and lots of people. Wonderful. People I hadn't talked to in a long time. And so I thought, God, this has to be of you. Yes. It has to be of you. Because you won't let me get away from it. <laughs> so in my mind, you know, our, our mind starts talking to us. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, when? When do we need to do this? When do we need to do this? This was right before the uh, Republican convention. And I... In my mind, Sister Opal, mm -hmm. I said, we need to do this. Uh -huh. We need to go ahead and do this. And very strong in my spirit, God said, this is not about politics. Uh -huh. This is about me. About him. Praise That's God. awesome word. That was an all. I yeah. said, yes, sir. God, mm -hmm. you give me the date because yes. I don't know when right. to do this. Right. So... I began to think about Joshua and the children of Israel going around mm -hmm. Jericho. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they had, you know, instructions of what to do. The walls of Jericho were strong and tall, yes. fortified walls. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I started thinking about all the walls that's taken place. Mm -hmm in our lives. Yes. Walls of division. Yes. Walls of racism. Yes. Walls of poverty. Right. Walls of sickness and disease. Yes. Walls, just walls of separation. Mm -hmm. What does a wall do? It separates. Separates, yes. And that's, and I begin to just see this and I, I begin to think about Joshua and I thought, you know what God, we need a movement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need yes, a we movement. Do. We need to begin to move some mountains. Yes, yes. yes, amen. Move those mountains out of our way. Yes, we do. So that we can be what God has called God us to, to be, be because we yes. are on a venture with right. God. Yes, we amen. are. We're yes, we ambassadors are. for yes, Jesus we are. Christ. We have an assignment. God has given every one Absolutely. of us an assignment. Right. Yes. Your assignment's not my That's assignment. Right. Yours is no, not mine. No. But I've got an assignment. Yes, you do. I do. And this yes. is an assignment. We all do. We all have an assignment. Yes, we do. And so as I thought about Joshua, and then I began to think, okay, they marched around Jericho. Mm -hmm. And at the appointed time, all in unison, yes. they gave out a shout of victory. Uh -huh. yes. And God. then it just began to all come together. And I said... Well, you know, Lord, what is the date? Right. What is the date mm -hmm. that you want? And almost immediately inside of me, I heard August the 1st. Mm -hmm. had no idea what day August the 1st was. So then I'm thinking about Joshua. I'm thinking about August the 1st. So I said, okay, I'm going to go to Joshua 8-1. 8 representing yes. August. Mm -hmm. And this is what it says. So good. God is so good. He's so good, yes. The first part of uh, Joshua 8, 1 says, And the Lord said to uh, Joshua, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Yes. Take all the men of war with you, mm. and arise. Ooh, <laughs> glory. I so that. I'm saying, oh, boy. we are the army of the <laughs> yes, Lord. We are. we are ambassadors. Yes, we are. And we are on a mission. Yes, we are. And I begin to think to myself, we are to put on our garments yes. of praise. Yes. Because there's a lot of heaviness. Yes. There's a lot of heaviness. Yes, there's there a is. lot of people being pressed down. Yes. 
And oh, yes. so we need to put on our garments yes, we of do. praise yes, for yes. the spirit of heaviness. Yes. Amen. So the Lord was just putting this together. Mm -hmm. he, he was just one thing right after the other. My next instructions was you put a scripture every day on Facebook. First, I, create, I tried to create a page. <laughs> <laughs> I think I created two or three pages. And Deborah wrote me and said, Did I miss something? Did you do something? I thought you'd been hacked. <laughs> And, but I was doing this, you know, and so anyways, I created a day of praise. Praise and God. Praise God. You were God. getting attention. Yeah, I was getting attention. <laughs> right. And I created that, and every day I started putting a scripture oh, about yeah. praise mm -hmm. and thanksgiving to God. And what the Lord was showing me was this has been lost. Yes. You don't hear a lot of teaching on praise. No, anymore. you really don't. And now the praise and worship in most churches is entertainment. And more than, yeah. More and more. And we need to get back to praising yes. Amen. God Almighty yes. for who He is. Yes, and we the do. Lord's instructions was for that day that we are to praise Him. Mm -hmm. Don't ask for anything. Right. Don't go to him asking for anything. Just praise him for who he is. That's good. Thank you, Lord. So good. For so he good. is worthy yes, to he be is. praised. Yes, he is. And mm. so anyways, I began to put those scriptures on there, and I started getting feedback. And it was like a reminder of how powerful praise and thanksgiving yes, it is. is. Yes. And the Lord reminded me of Psalms 8.1 that He has given us praise. The word strength means praise. Mm, yeah. He's given us praise to steal the enemy yes. and the avenger in our lives. Mm -hmm. And what have we done? We've gotten so distracted. Yes. There's mm -hmm. so many distractions. Haven't been single-minded. <laughs> we quit being single-minded. <laughs> That's right. This yep. is all connecting yes, together. Yes, it is. It's all connected and together. And we have forgotten that we have a weapon. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that weapon is a weapon of praise. It is. Thank you, Jesus. And we've mm -hmm. laid our weapons <laughs> down. Miss Opal, we've laid we our have. weapons down. We have. And then I remembered the story about Jehoshaphat. And that's what I was sitting here thinking about. Yeah. Glory to God. Yes. And the enemy was all around. All the around. All around. The all children around. Of surrounded. Yes. And Jehoshaphat. Looked out and he's seen all the enemies. Yes. Do we have enemies? Yes. We got all enemies around. all around all us. Around. And yeah. <laughs> Everywhere, Everywhere we look. Mm -hmm. And Jehoshaphat said, God, I don't know don't what, know to, what do, to do, but mm -hmm. my eyes are upon you. Mm -hmm. And God began to give Jehoshaphat a plan. Yes, he did. And the end of that plan was you call all the people together and you send the praisers out. Mm -hmm. And I've often thought, would I want to be one of those first <laughs> praisers? <laughs> you send the praisers out in front of the army. And so they got ready and they began to praise the yes, Lord. Yes, they did. And they praised the Lord. And it so confused the enemy. It did. That mm -hmm. they turned on their They self. did. Oh. They sure did. What would it do if we all begin to if praise the Lord? If we were in Lord, single minded, single minded, united, united, <laughs> right, at one time, at one time, <laughs> hearing from the Lord, when? When? <laughs> right. And, and so I'm thinking, man, I should make a movie out of this. <laughs> but glory to God. Yes. What would happen if we would all just do Amen. that? Amen. Mm -hmm. What happened on the day of Pentecost? Mm -hmm. They were all in one, one accord. Place, one, yes. All in one accord. Yes. And if the body of Christ could all come together That's right. and get on one accord yes. and tear those strongholds and those walls yes. down that separated and divided mm -hmm. us. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's not a color issue. No, no, it's not. It's a heart issue. It sure is a heart issue. We need to get back to the basics. Yes, we do. We, we need do. to do what Revelations tells us to do. And Jesus, I mean, the Word of God tells us, you know, you're not neither hot nor cold. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
we need to get on fire for yes, God. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And we need to begin to tear down these strongholds. Yes, Amen. And we can do it. All, yes, He'll we help can. us. We if can. we just step out. If we'll step out. That's it. We're blessed. We are blessed. If we step if out. If we step out. <laughs> if we step out. <laughs> yes, we are. If we're willing and obedient, yes. we'll eat the good of That's the land. That's what he said. Isaiah yes. wrote that. That's the truth. And so God is telling us in Joshua 8, 1, and I love this because you said this on one of the programs, and God immediately said, you know what, I'm just lining this up. Yes. And Joshua, let me read this again to you. Yes. It says, and the Lord says to Joshua, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Take all the men of war with you and arise. Yes. You know what that word arise mm. means? Mm -mm. Change your posture yes. and your position. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I arose <laughs> out of this chair, good. what's happening to me? <laughs> right. I'm changing yes. my posture and my position. Mm -hmm. yes. We can't keep doing the same thing no. over and no. over and expecting different results. No, we can't. That's insanity. It is. It sure is. And we're not insane. No, we're not. We've got the mind of Christ. <laughs> yes, ma'am. If we, we stay single-minded <laughs> with a connection with God. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so we are to arise yes. and take that weapon of praise and tear these walls amen. down. Yes, yes and amen. And this is not something that we're going to do in the natural. No, we're not. It's spiritual. No, that's right. This is a spiritual battle. It is a thing. spiritual battle. Spiritual so the thing. Lord was, t you know, just showing me what to do. Step This joint venture. This is wonderful. I was in a joint venture with, with God, God joint Almighty. Yes. And so this is what he's, he's, the instruction is. You know, I put it on Facebook. From 6 o'clock, on August the 1st, Monday, August the 1st. And I know this is airing different Later. at a different time, but that's okay. Right. You know what? Every day you can make it a day of we praise. We can make it a day of praise. We can that's right. It. And if God leads us, we'll do it again. Yes. And there will be more people yes. and more people. And we will start a movement. Yes. We will start a movement. But on Monday, August the 1st, from 6 o'clock that morning, when your feet hit the floor, you begin to praise and yeah, thank praise God. God. For He is good. Yes, He is. And His yes. mercies mm. are everlasting. Yes, yes, they are. are. Thank you. Glory to yes, God. Yes, they are. And from 6 o'clock that morning to 6 o'clock that, that evening, night. we're going to praise and worship praise God. Praise God. And we're not going to mummer and complain. No. And if you have to turn the TV off mm -hmm. because you have a habit of fussing back at the TV, <laughs> just be smart enough to cut it off. Amen. Just cut it, just off. Cut it right. off. And then in unison, mm -mm. at 6 o'clock, every one of us are going to lift up our voices Praise God. with a voice of triumph. Yes, yes, and yes, we're going to shout the victory. Yes. And I believe some walls I are believe coming the wall. down. Yes, They're yes. coming down I believe in, the name it. Of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. We put up with this stuff long yes. enough. We have, that's the key. We have put up with we it. We put up with it. We've and what did God tell the right. children of Israel when they kept walking around right. the same 11-day right. journey and yeah. it took them 40, 40 years. years. Yes. Mm -hmm. And finally God had had enough. It, that's right. He said enough is enough. Right. He enough. just wanted them to praise Him yes. on the west side. Yes. And then they could have went to the east yes. side. Yes. Simply, He wanted them to praise Him. Yes. Trust Him praise and Him. And Ms. Oprah, the whole time, He was taking care and of And all them. that time, didn't you let their shoes wear mm -hmm. out? It's an absolute miracle. It yes. blow your mind if you try to figure yeah. that one out. And He fed yeah. them every day. That's right. Well, what's And they grumbled about us? that. That was grumbling pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Those are pigeons. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> grumble, grumble, grumble. And that's another story. That's another story. <laughs> yeah, but it's time. the truth. Glory to God. <laughs> right. But they was down there just, you know, grumbling and all yes. and complaining. And every day God was taking Isn't that the way it is today, though? People never satisfied, never, never have enough. Satisfied. And no matter how much God does, it's grumble, complain, find fault. You know, yeah, you, this yeah. is God. I know this is God that's given this to you. And He's going to honor it. And <laughs> He's going, he's to, going to, when we um, obey Him, He is obligated yes. to finish the work. We start what He tells us to start, but He's obligated. That key word, obey. Right. Yes. You know, he was wanting obedience yes. from the children of Israel. Yes. And um, if we 
start positioning ourselves. Yes. You know, you're talking about rising and getting, getting positioned. Yes. If we start positioning ourselves yes. and be obedient to the Word of God, yes. can you imagine if everyone Ooh. in the United States would do that? And, you know, just, My goodness. you know, I know we can't be side by side, but we can link arms spiritually. Yes, speaking, we can. In the spiritual, in the yes. supernatural realm. Yes, we, we can. can link arms spiritually and position ourselves to praise the Almighty, Almighty God. Oh, yes. And just, like you said, not ask a single thing, no. not put a single no. a petition up before no. Him. Because he already knows our hearts. Yes, he does. And our, he knows our needs anyway. Just praise well, him. But just praise, praise him for who he is, not what he can do no. for us. Right. right. Amen. Because he's already done That's that. right. He's already That's done. right. And you know what, Sister Deborah? He inhabits the praise. Yes, of he does. People. Amen. That means when we start praising God, God's going to shower down. He's yes. going to show up and show off. Yes, he is. And I don't know about everybody else, and I believe I can speak for everybody. We're ready. We are. We're ready. We We're are. ready to blow Amen. the trumpet yes. in Zion yes. and sound the alarm because Jesus Christ is coming yes, back. Yes, he's coming back. And we need to go out of here the victorious yes, church. Yes, we do. We Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, let's I have church. <laughs> yeah, let's just have church. <laughs> well, you know, I'm thinking about you brought up some, some of the things that came to my mind was that None of the the uh, heroes of faith, the ones the like uh, uh, um whether it be Gideon, any of them, saw nobody. You know, they didn't start out thinking, "I can do this, I can do that." But they had they had to do what God told them mm -hmm. to do yes. in mm -hmm. order for what we read today mm -hmm. to have yes. ever happened. Right. They had to hear from God. Right. And if you know, uh, and I know you all know this, but everything had to be lined up exact. Noah built the ark. Didn't he mm -hmm. have to have specific he instructions? Did. He did. If he had done it differently, it wouldn't work. That's right. But he had to hear from God and do what God said. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of times where we do get sometimes to making our plans, but thank God when we can have an ear to hear, he'll give that specific that's date, right. he will. the specific, specific yeah. plan, the mm -hmm. place, everything. Mm -hmm. Right. And you know, Noah had to be single-minded. He had to be single-minded <laughs> for over a hundred yes. years. Oh, that's yes. a long to time to stay single-minded. How much more so imagine? should we mm. be single-minded? Can you imagine right. how he had to be fought for? Could, could we endure a year oh. with what no one went right. through? And people telling them, yeah. you know, you're crazy. Right. Well, you know, you're I've crazy had people man. tell me I'm crazy. Well, me too. <laughs> I just had that said on our anniversary. The pastor said, everybody says you all have crazy faith. And I said, well, yeah. it's okay. We'll have crazy faith then. <laughs> That's right. I, I will share this real fast. One of the young ladies that graduated through the Hope Center Ministry, which is a ministry for rehabilitation, uh, about a year or so ago, she graduated the program, and she said one day during Bible school, Bible study, she said, uh, "Miss Linda, I need to say something." And I said, "Okay." And she said, uh, "When you first, when I first got in here, and you would come in, I didn't want to let you in the door." Mm -hmm. She said, "I just did not want to have nothing to do with you." And I remember she stood <laughs> back from me. She would, she give me those evil looks, you know, and she'd back away from me. And she said, because I thought you were crazy. <laughs> she said, I thought you'd lost your mind. <laughs> and I looked at her so sweet, and I said, Erica, I have lost my <laughs> mind. I lost my mind in 1979. Praise God. Praise God. I have yes. the mind of Christ. Yes. yes. Praise, Praise God. God. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank, thank you, Lord. You, Jesus. Well, do you have something you'd like to say specific or a prayer you would like to pray? I Lord. just want to tell everybody. Let's just praise the yes. Lord together. Let's just yeah. praise the Lord. Let's together. all in one accord lift up the name of the yes. Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray over the, all the audience that yes. all these walls that's been built up, yes, these Lord. partitions yes, that's Lord. separated and Amen. divided our families, mm. they've divided our, you know, our churches. Yes. They, they've made a, it's just a strong wall. If we would just begin to pray yes, the Lord, these walls will come to me. They, they will, yes, they will. Yes, they will. That's God's promise. That's His us. promise. That's His promise. And when we he, when we obey, He fulfills right. what He's promised. That's right. And that's a wonderful word. And this this has just been a wonderful study today. And Praise God, God is connecting this. This is our third session for. Uh, a joint venture with God, mm -hmm. and so we are on a mission with purpose. It's God's right. purpose. It's this God's is not purpose. our purpose. It's right. not about us. It's not. It's not for 
fame or anything, us to make a great name or a ministry name, but it's all about Him. It's all about Him. And uh, we are on a mission with purpose, with God's purpose. And today, on this, you shared on this program a day of praise, and that just really does need to be brought back. We mm -hmm. Don't we praise Him a little bit every time we get together in the church? We sing some praise songs. Yeah. We sing some worship yeah. songs. But it seems like it's so fixed. It's just mm -hmm. so, yeah. you know, and we just... Mm -hmm. But if we could just get up as you sit in the mornings and just praise the Lord every day. From our hearts. Uh -huh. But that one day of praising out in unison, that that mm -hmm. is powerful. Yes. And I know that this program will air afterward because we can't get it on mm -hmm. in time. But uh, it, that's a good thought to tell everybody to just still yeah. get up every day and, and still praise, praise God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, back in the 90s, my husband uh, gave a message on about just getting up in the morning and instructed us mm -hmm. to, like Daniel prayed, yes. and three times a day just to stop and pray yes. and thank Him because He's God. Right. That's right. And Amen. just don't ask for nothing. Yes. But the first thing in the morning, just to not ask Him for anything, just thank Him, you know, thank you. and praise Him. Yeah. And He had taught us that. And a lot of people still tell me that, you know, that they remember when He said, yes. well, pray three times a day that you stop and you're not asking for anything. Right. Right. Just and just thank Him and just praise Him. For the very him. breath that we That's heard. right. Exactly. We're so blessed. We are, we are blessed. stepping out blessed. Yes, we are. And we are in a joint venture with God. Yes, we are. And then we are divinely connected. Amen. Amen. You all are divinely connected in vessels of honor worldwide. Mm -hmm. And we're uh, divinely connected as members of the body right. of Jesus Christ Amen. And on kingdom business. That's and we right. all have divine assignments. Amen. And Amen. whoever's out there today, we just thank God that you've been watching today. Uh, we pray that you have been very blessed and encouraged and yes. that you'll make your days uh, really joyful by getting up and starting with just mm -hmm. not asking God for anything but praising Him for Praise who He Jesus. is and recognizing how great He is mm -hmm. and trusting Him. And He will, your day will feel so much blessed. Mm -hmm. He will just bless it. Uh, we want you to tell your friends to... Um, Watch Stepping Out Blessed, and next week, we'll be back on again next week on this station, and you can look up our past uh, videos on YouTube. Uh, you can watch them over and over and over and be blessed Amen. and get the parts that Amen. you missed, and you can be encouraged. We ask you to contact us. Give us yes. your prayer requests and praise reports. We invite you to visit uh, locally in the Corrington, Tennessee area, the Praise Place. Just call me, and I'll give you the... Uh, directions and the meeting times and we these ladies that come on the program they have retreats and conferences and all kinds of meetings and ministries so contact them get in touch with them mm -hmm. and they will come and speak at your meetings and things and minister yes. uh, to and they'll pray for you they'll be Amen. prayer warriors for you so contact them so we pray you have a great day wonderful week and we'll see you again next week on stepping out blessed god bless